What's up? Hello, everybody. It's Griffin Puff, and welcome back to Doki Doki. We're going to. You can see this confirmed through the text you've already read. Okay, swiftly defeated. Pops in her seat. Don't worry, guys. Griffin Puff always has his gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Oh, he helps with busy work without me even asking. L like cooking and cleaning my room. Why do I do so much for you? How dependable? Yes, I'm dependable. Yes, I'm dependable. But for you, no. For you, you're a. Sayori, that's because your alarm is so messy it's distracting and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you are a mess of a girl. Nice bow. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I may be a little jealous. How come? You and Griffin can become best good friends too. Um, Sayori, um... As you'll say, since oblivious to the worst situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Wait, so sorry, eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It really nothing. Sorry, stop embarrassing Yuri. What is it? Never mind. Oh, she's embarrassed. Sorry, no, don't do that. Sorry made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do we do? Uh, so I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I guess it means up to me to rescue the situation. Oh boy, I gotta save this. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice stuff from you is a pleasant surprise. It makes me happy no matter what. It is that so? Oh. Yeah, I won't make a big deal of if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Very survivable about a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And you could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Oh. This. As, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Dear, thank you. I'll definitely read this. So I'm, I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So I already and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh, do I do it? Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related to, like, by myself like this? I guess I could always read some book some book you already gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well we can't give up. Oh. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. Oh, please try. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual, but it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Agreed. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm, Sayori. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the, th the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sir's talk, taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Oh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes? Uh -huh, uh -huh, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, oh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. I have so much going on with conversations right now, but that works perfectly. That was why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Hey, cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, she always told her usual self that therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, so can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose why, that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder if, what, what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. 
Ugh. I hope my for story fail. You nearly fall out of my chair. Eh, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now with that, you're in a club. You're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You need to get used to it. I don't want that to happen. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder, stay monic over her. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, sorry. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You still oversleep every day, aren't you? Eh, uh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days in the past week have you gotten up on time? That's... it's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sarah, it's written all over you. Eh. Uh, glances around herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair sticking out all over around here. Ah. Uh, I'm afraid to trip down the side so we are trying to straighten out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair's just really hard to get right. I won't fall out for that. It's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. <laughs> I tried to rub up the stain with my hair, but nobody would even notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want you to embarrass you. And fortunately, I really don't care about that. I'm kind of a jerk to Sayori. <laughs> hey, you mean he? <laughs> She's so embarrassed. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh, uh, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll make me later. I'm a nasty dude. Why are you friends with me? I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Oh, once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Eh, uh, this is so funny. What is it? Well, I'm just thinking how weird is that friend who does these kind of things. Eh, uh, don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Ah, uh, I guess. The button might come off. I missed what. I have like so many stuff I'm trying to pay attention to. Why is this one so hard to close? I should have a fully closed button in your chest. Why is this? How does this thing even fit you properly? Uh -huh. It did when I bought it, so I. You would, if you ever if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it didn't fit anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger. Uh, why, why am I a guy from all these girls? Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so ah, uh, why does it feel strange to see Sora's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Ew, it's not worth it at all. Sarah, so, hastily right, unbutton your blazer once more. Phew, that's so much better. So I puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying it like that? That like such a thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, they wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you could take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Am I just your friend? Or do you have a crush on me? That is the question. I have no idea. Stop saying me all these embarrassing things. I'm embarrassed. Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
Who should I show? Yuri. I think she would like it the best. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I could just her if I need to be fair. Yuri. Hmm. Hmm. Yuri stays at the home. And then it passes more than enough for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. <laughs> there is her hands in her face. I couldn't help but notice that this new someone we hadn't really gotten in. You were, it might take you a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it says that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and I went through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. <laughs> the end result is that the, both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Very uncertain. This is a virgin when your child mood changes. Her stammering is clearly gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Mizuki can be a little biased, though. Bias how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Tell me more. I want to know why Natsuki would be a bitch to me. I'm not sure if you're curious to apologize to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Very small, extremely really as if it's a rare opportunity for which is kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed, isn't this supposed to be leisure club. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible hand. What? No, I wasn't thinking about that at all. But they took a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Yeah, that's a relief. Also, I liked the poem, even though it's short, it's really descriptive, it wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems, not at all. I'm really glad you liked it, I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild, something easily to, easy to digest, I suppose. My hopes. Uh, are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh, huh? Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Griffin Puff, really. It must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only go it's over it after all, but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in the word. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy for you to think that. Just remember, it won't be long before you pick up the these things, too. Well, it's gonna be a long time. I suck at that kind of things. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who do I do next? Who do I th Oh. Fuck it, we'll get Natsuki alloy. Dot, dot. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Wow. That's a little blunt. Oh. Well, excuse me, it's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't invoke any emotion, so basically it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get some I can say I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Now, not that you'll like it. Monkey eagle. Oh. This is the stupidest poem ever. Monkeys climb, cheetahs can, turkeys can leap, horses can race, owls can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it, I'm such a liar. I hated that. What? Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, and people don't like 
take my writing seriously. That isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do their things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the really nice thing is about simple writing is that puts more weight on the wordplay. Let's set, like I set up a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall off flat on purpose. It helps bring up the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess or when you do it then I realized. That's the, that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Don't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I really don't care how old everyone is, but if I just keep feeling proud, then I won't take anything away from her. Um well I have Monica and Stuart. so I'm gonna end this episode here. And do the last two in another episode. I'm gonna go and I'm going to save there. And thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up button. If you want to join House Cook Puff, click that subscribe button down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.